Hey, if you'd like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest and to part two of The Sump. Okay, so I'm just in the process of replacing the blue acrylic sliders that's on the sump just now. Uh, I don't really like them, so I'm changing them for this black acrylic. And these are not going to be sliding, these are going to be fixed at the height that I want them at, and they're going to stay at that height. And I'm also going to use the acrylic as a way to block the light from the refugium from going all over the sump. So it's just going to be isolated in the one area. Now I'm just getting into position to mark where the holes that I need to drill in order to attach this with the nylon nut and bolt that was supplied with the, the sump. So I'll just give you a quick mark and then I'll take it over and get the holes drilled for it. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so I'm actually going to drill it twice because, um, as you know, acrylics are not cheap, so I don't know how to wreck it. So I'm just going to drill the two holes with a smaller drill bit first, um, and then once I've done that, I'll change it to the drill bit that's required for the actual nut and bolt bit to, to go through. This is a bit you hope you've got the right, you've measured it right. <laughs> There's no going back now. Okay, and now I'll just use the actual drill bit that's required for the, the bolt bit to go through it. The bolt bit, oh, you came for what I mean. There you go. Just putting in the reverse, it's easier to get out. Right, we'll go and see if it fits now. Fingers crossed I've got it right. And then hopefully we'll slide this in and the nuts actually line up. Now, for this side, I've actually used... What is it? Uh, 3mm. I've actually used 3mm thick acrylic just because it was cheaper um, and because on this side you'll notice the refugium it's just loads of thin lines so there's not going to be like a great amount of pressure on the acrylic and I've put it on the inside so that the water is pushing it against that um, that wall anyway so it's not going to bend and, and break so that's why I've used the 3mm there and it's just it works out a bit cheaper, okay, so saved a few pennies there. But, yep, the holes match up perfect, so that's that bit you done. Right, 
we'll just get another look at this. Okay, so just to give you a quick look at this. So that's that 3mm acrylic and that's going to replace the, the blue bay. And like I say, it's pressed up against this side so that when the water's can force its way through, um, this acrylic's got the support for the baffle behind it, so it should be fine. Right, so I'm just going to drill this bit for the, so that I can cut this bottom bit because that's the curvy bit of the, the baffle. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a jigsaw, so um, there is no problems, only solutions. So <laughs> just going to make the best of what I've got. Um, and I'll just get to do it this way, unfortunately. Um, I should actually get myself a jigsaw, make life a lot easier, but hey-ho, we'll, we'll easy get by and we'll manage. Okay, right, I've got my saw into place here. Um, and all I've got to do now is cut this long straight. Right, just about there. And then I'll just get this bit cut out and that'll be it done. Who needs a jigsaw? <laughs> Take my saw apart just to get the blooming thing out of here again. There we go. Last wee bit. Just taking my time on this because the last thing I want to do is snap it. That would just be a nightmare. And that's it done. I've uh, did that top wee hole the exact same way. Um, just sanded it all down so it's ready to go in. See if it actually fits the tank. So here we go. Moment of truth. Looking good. Fits perfect. It's actually starting to look like a Transformers face now. <laughs> Oh man, I so saw what is some ACDC back to black music there. <laughs> right, so painting the back of this sump. Normally I use black tile paint, but it's like £18 for a tin. Um, I didn't want to spend that kind of money just for this wee sump, and I'm only going to use it once. So I've uh, took a chance, I've just bought this really cheap tin, a black gloss paint, non-drip, and hopefully this is going to do it. And I've gave the glass a good clean beforehand. So hopefully it does stick and it doesn't start separating, but I suspect it's definitely going to need a couple of coats, possibly three, but we'll hopefully get away with the two. Well, so far so good. It seems to be going on okay. Right, that's the first coat done. Um, I'll just stick my brush in this bag and you can leave it in the bag for the help day for a help day and it'll still be fine when you go to use it again. So that's the first coat done. And it's looking nay too bad. It doesn't seem to be peeling away. So hopefully I'll maybe get one more coat and it should be good to go. Okay, so it did take two coats, but that's it done, um, and it's looking pretty good. Really pleased with it. Right, 
Right, next I'm doing the return section. So, like in the the first episode, um, you see me taking out the, the baffle. So I'm just going to cut the baffle and get that into place. But I'll just show you on this rough bit of glass, um, just basically how I, I've um, prepped it for, because you actually see me breaking it, but I didn't actually show you me marking it. So you just get your glass cutter, go straight down the line, and just do it once. Then I go over your line a heap of times, just score it once, and that's it. Um, if you just keep going over it, you just wreck it. Just go over it the one time, and um, that's all you need to do. Then I can then I go over the line heaps of times. Just do it one, with one score, and that's you. And then once you've went over it, scored it once, you just take the reverse of your cutter, there's a wee ball bit on the end of it, and you just give the, the line that you've scored just a wee top. Just a few times, nothing mental, just a few tops. And then you just apply gentle pressure and the glass should break in a nice straight line. There we go. Perfect. Okay, like I just showed you, so I've already scored this the one time and I've tapped the glass so all I've got to do now is apply the pressure and it should break off. This glass is a wee bit thicker than that test piece but there we go, perfect. Spot on, happy with that. Okay, because the glass is like really really sharp just now we've just got to sand all the edges and get them all nice and smooth. So I just take like a sanding block and I just give them a quick rub down. Just work it all directions, make sure it's perfectly smooth. Okay, so here's the bit of glass that's actually going to be used for the sump. Um, it's all been sanded and it's worked out really well. So that's that piece now ready to rock. Okay, so that baffle's done, and since it's going to be going from the refugium into the return section, I'm going to cut a wee bit of this weir comb so that I can stick that onto that piece of glass, and then that will catch any algae that could possibly be spilling over and getting trapped in my return pump. Right, so that's the two bits cut to size, so I'll just dry fit them just now. Um, before I actually silicon them into place. So they're going to bite, hi. And then the idea is I'll just glue this weir comb onto this side and, well, either this side or I might stick on the other side, I'm not sure yet. But you get the idea, so That'll be pretty, pretty much it. And I'm still going to keep a decent size section for my return so that you've not got a problem with the evaporation. But, um, yep, that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video here because it's actually getting on a bit. I'm probably getting close to the 15 minutes on this one as well. So I'll call that quits just now and we'll end this part two and we'll finish it off in part three. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching shipmates and until next time, bye bye.